That was the first time there was a, um, that was the beginning of, of um, satellite feed. And uh, London had, outside of London, a place called Gunhealy, they had their satellite feed, and there was a feed that went from France also. And as I was working in the Louvre, they called me and said, is there something that I can do with the Louvre that would, that would make use of the Telstar from France? That would be part of the, what NBC was contributing in the, uh, in, in the new technology. And it was extraordinarily new. I mean, you can imagine what it's done. Well, look where we've come since then. But that was the first step. And I said, well, there wasn't enough just to do, to, to do pictures in, in, in the Louvre in, and send it through Telstar, because what did that mean? There had to be some kind of an exchange. So we decided to do an exchange with the Louvre Museum in Paris and the National Gallery in Washington. And they sent a second crew with all the new equipment for, you know, for live equipment. So while we were doing the film on the Louvre for the documentary, I was able to use this crew to do a feed back and forth with, with the, then you really saw the, the amazing wonder of this new satellite uh, technology. And it was really very exciting and to do this. And we used the American ambassador in Paris, Chip Bolin, and we used the French ambassador uh, in, uh, in, in Washington, a uh, very elegant man and a very beautiful wife who have wore all her French uh, designers' clothes. And, and Chip Bolin and his wife were very American. So it really worked out very nicely that we had this exchange. However, <coughs> the real value of that program came as the program was finished, the day after the program was done on the satellite. We had also finished the film on the Louvre. And I left everybody in the Louvre Museum. At 12 o'clock, I went back to the hotel to start thinking about getting everything reorganized to move out, to go back home. And I got a telephone call that President Kennedy had been shot. And that was a blow, as you can imagine. He had been a good friend and probably <laughs> the most important reason for my success as a television producer around the world. And we were devastated. So I immediately called the NBC Bureau, which was on the Champs-Élysées, and there was no answer. There was nobody there. So I raced over to the building and found that there was not a single living soul. This was at 1 o'clock in the afternoon by that time. <clears throat> by that time, we knew he was dead. That was then, you know, it was... Uh, it was about 6 o'clock at night there. It was 6 o'clock at night there, 7 o'clock at night there. And there was nobody in there. There hadn't been anybody in all afternoon for some weird reason. And so, and the phones were ringing and coming off the hook. So I immediately got to the crew that had shot the satellite show. And I said, don't dismantle anything. We may need that feed. And I get, and, and send your excess, send your researchers and your PAs and so on to the office. I need people. And I took my entire film crew that had filmed the Louvre, they were finished, to the office, including the director, Tom Priestley. And I had Tom go out in the street and do man in the street interviews with a with a uh, translator, because New York was calling and saying, "Where is everybody? We need a feed from Paris. We need the French reaction to what happened." And so, this documentary crew took over that office and were doing all the feeds because we had not we hadn't dismantled that whole satellite feed. And it was going to Washington because it was an exchange with Washington. We were able to feed NBC Washington all the news from the streets and from the, the, from the government. I mean, we sent people to interview the government. We could not find Bernard Frizzell, the correspondent, the NBC correspondent in the Paris office. I will leave that story untold. 
but we did find all the stringers and we had people go out and cover everything that had to be done that day. And it was all because we had done that first satellite broadcast from the Louvre Museum to Washington.